Can you move? Can you move? Can, can, you, can you move? Can you, can you get out of my chair? You're always in my chair. It's my chair. Where the heck did it go? Oh. Ha! Nope. You missing one? Yeah. And the last piece we'll need. Busted. Broken. Old parts. New quad. That's right. Today we're building the Shindrones Squirt. And I can't wait to put this together. Okay, let's get to building. Come on. We're gonna be using the Thou Pop T3045s. I heard these are pretty good to use. Bull nose. We're gonna have to trim these down a little bit though. I got two sets because I tend to crash things a lot. Let's start working on this frame. How do we put this together? Let's sit down. Can you, can you get out of my chair? You're always in my chair. It's my chair. Move. Can you please move? Ow! Fine, I'm gonna sit on you. Yep, don't care. Oh yeah. All right, good, you moved. Got our frame, our GoPro Hero 7 mount, our VTX transmitter antenna mount, the FPV cam mount, and then the top plate, which goes something like that. And we also got our... What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay. Ducks. Fan ducks, I guess. Sure. That's, that's what we'll go for. Alright. So first things first, I guess. I never built one of these before. I should probably... Is that how you do it in YouTube? Like, dramatically move everything over? And then you bring this in there? So this is my Aris 250BV3. As you can see, probably, I have annihilated this arm. The top plate here, you can see the camera pointing in a different direction. Needless to say, I've crashed this thing pretty hard. So instead of buying a new frame, I decided to buy a different frame and move everything over there. We're gonna take this apart and we're gonna move the components of this over to the new frame. <laughs> things first. Here's our frame. Is it gonna fit? Oh yeah. I squish the crap out of, uh, out of that more than I need to. Let's get rid of these motors because we need our new motors now. New motors. These are the HDLRC 1407 3600 KV and a nice pretty blue color. We're gonna mount these motors. Gonna run the cables up underneath. Yes. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Okay. Woo wee! Looking shiny and pretty. Okay. I'm sure you don't wanna watch four motors get put on, so. One, two. There's a little Tyrannosaurus Rex on there. Look at that little bad boy right there. At this point, I don't really know what happened to my audio, but as you can see, I've got most of the components installed here. I've got the VTX, the stubby antenna, my, I don't know what I'm pointing at there, XT60, my lights, uh, and then the, my RT, R12 DSM radio link receiver, as well as the camera. So last thing to do is going to be install the ducts. Installing the ducts is pretty easy. All you have to do really is just line up the mounting holes to the frame, and from there use the screws that are provided, making sure not to over tighten them too much. The Squirt's really designed for a full-size camera, and I may have missed that point, but I went with a Runcam Eagle Micro, so it doesn't really sit that well in the uh, mount that comes with the Squirt. So to improvise, I used a bunch of double-sided foam tape to kind of wedge it in there between, and now it sits pretty darn good, just being held by the, uh, by the lens at the front. 
so it doesn't rotate at all it sits pretty nice nice and steady next up we're gonna put the top plate on make sure the u-shaped cutout is over the fpv camera and then take your screws and secure the uh, rear of the top plate down to the standoffs after that go ahead and pass the screws through the gopro holder and then from there you'll be able to pass those down through the top plate and screw them down into the standoffs. Now if your Allen key is a little bit short, you can flex the mount backwards a little bit and make it a little easier to get that Allen key in there. Lastly, go ahead and grab that battery strap and feed it through the notches on the side. Pop your trusty GoPro in the holder and then shoot some super grainy B-roll for their video. head off, got some props, I already trimmed one of them. I know there's mention of doing it with a sanding, some sandpaper, but if you just take the edge of a wire cutter and just trim the edges there, I've gotten it to fit very nicely. So let's see if this works. All right, got the props trimmed, got the camera all focused, got the VTX all set up and the receiver all set up too. I'm gonna leave them loose right now just because I'm being lazy. So we're gonna take this for a short little indoor test flight. Let's see. Now that nobody's home, I think it's time to try this thing out on a maiden. Let's just see if it'll hover. It's probably not the smartest thing to do here in the house, but I don't know when I'm gonna get to do this again. And as usual, right, when I'm trying to do something, wifey calls. Yes. Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Um, I was just about to maiden my drone. A what? I was about to fly my drone. Oh, where? In the house. <laughs> are, you, okay. are you on your way home? All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Always. Okay, let's do this. Woo! All right. <laughs> you like bugged the moon tower there. <laughs> that little bump 